Hello YouTube, this is part two of my uh, two-part series on making an online Minecraft server for free without Hamachi that you can play without a premium account with friends while you're on different internet connections. So a true online server. So um, if you haven't seen part one, click on the little pop-up here, otherwise close it. And uh, alright, let's get back to where we left off. So here I have my server open, everything's running, uh, but it's only... Uh, available for play if you're connected to the same wireless network right now. So in order to make it f truly online, we're gonna have to forward a port in the uh, home network or wherever you're connected right now. In order to do that, this is uh, it's gonna be quick, so just bear with me. But go down and type cmd and ip config slash all. So now a bunch of stuff comes up again, and all we're concerned about is the IPv4 address, subnet mask, and default gateway. So write these three things down. Or actually, you just keep the window open, it's fine. Alright, but when you're there, go ahead and head into your internet browser. Let's make this easier. Alright, and you're going to either type 192.168.0.1 or 192.168.1.1. Whichever works, it depends on your router. You should get a pop-up asking for uh, authentication, username and password. So if you have never seen this before, it's probably admin and password or admin, admin, something default, that type of thing. And uh, if you have, just go ahead, log in. If you have no idea what this is and nothing's working, just Google your uh, router's model and brand right here, which it displays, and then at, see what the default password is. So you should be able to find that pretty easily. So once you log in, we're going to need to assign a static IP address. So go to control panel and view network status and tasks, adapter settings, and then right click on your wireless network connection or if you have uh, a wired connection, but whatever you're currently using for the internet and properties. So a pop up should come up, go to protocol 4, properties. And you get something that looks like this. However, yours will say obtain IP address automatically and then obtain DNS server address automatically. So you're going to have to change that. You go use the following IP address and you type 192.168.1. And now you can choose whatever number you want here. It has to be between 1 and 24, 1 and 254. So I chose 27. Subnet mask, that's automatic. And then. 255, 255, 2550. Just make sure those match up. Default gateway, enter that. 192.168.11. And then DNS server as well. Do, 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 do. Well, it should say DNS server. Oh, here it is. DNS server 192.168.11. So you just enter that there. But I've already done that, so I'll hit cancel. Alright, then you should be all good. Close out of this. Halfway there. Okay, so now you're back in your router homepage. Find something that says port forwarding. Now I've already forwarded a port, but yours should be blank here, and you would just hit add custom service. Minecraft, whatever you want to name it. Uh, leave the protocol. 25565 is the port. So just type that in starting and ending. And then server IP address. See, 192.168.1, and then whatever number you chose, so for me it would be 27. Apply, and then you're all set. So I've already got that up and running. Close out of that. And now uh, your Minecraft server is officially open to the world. But in order to uh, connect to it, we're going to have to know the IP address and the port. So you know the port's 25565, we've got to find your Internet's IP address. So that's really easy. Just go to, just Google IP, whoops. Google IP Chicken. I'll have a link in the description. And uh, there you go, it gives you your IP address. So you copy that. Go into Minecraft. Yep. And then while that's loading, go into your server folder. Alright, server properties. And now is when we change the IP address. And you paste the one that you just found on IP Chicken. Save. And you'll be all set. So, let's see. 
go to the server, type reload, multiplayer, Minecraft server, control V will paste your IP, and then you have to type colon 25565. Colon just means, all right, there's the IP, colon's a separation marker saying here's the port, done. And so this is the local one we did earlier, and now this one, open to the world. So yes, if any of you happen to type this in, it is my server, but I will change that. So now anyone in any part of the world connected to the internet, if they type that into their Minecraft multiplayer, they are connected to your server. So that's pretty darn cool, and it's free. So if I helped you out, you know, uh, saved you some dough, uh, not buying a premium account, or you're just having fun making a server, like, comment, subscribe, and... Uh, watch my other videos. I'll do a video on how to uh, put in some plugins, customize the server, which is really fun. Alright, subscribe please.